everyone, hope you're well. I am here today to film the kind of video that I like to call Barbara Chats for 20 to 30, hopefully 20 minutes. And I really feel like filming. I had no idea what to film today. I kind of had an idea and now it's just turned into a, let's just talk about a few things that I haven't spoken about and some favorites that I have uh, lying about the flat, which include shoes, sunglasses, bags, and food. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's literally just gonna be me talking about a few topics that I feel like updating you guys on. I have dyed my hair. Honestly, guys, I am more afraid of hairdressers than like aesthetics. So hair for me is just one of those things like I'm never 100% happy with my hair. I feel like the one time I was ever 100% happy was when I had my blonde bob and maybe when I had some balayage done and that's like it. But hairdressers scare me and I feel like one of the easiest hair colors to maintain is like a darker brown. So um, I have been meaning to dye my hair for a while. I did a box dye like a few weeks ago with my mum and it was just like... You know when it's not even? So I have a lot of hairdressers in my family. I went to my cousin's shop and yesterday she hooked me up and she's giving me whatever this is. So it's not black. I don't know what it's coming across like on camera, but it's a very, very dark brown mixed in. Yeah, it's like very dark brown basically. I have no idea what number this is or color. All I said is I want a dark brown that's very dark with no red. And this is what I've gotten. I know lots of you guys are probably going to ask me. My top is from H&M Trend. You guys know I have been utterly obsessed with H&M. I just feel like I don't know if they have a new creative director. If they have someone new, like a new CEO. You guys can probably tell me. But H&M has just been killing it for me. And you're probably going to be seeing another haul from them this month coming up. So be excited. And um, yeah, so this is just my favorite, like one of my favorite colors. And it's just this gorgeous yellow. Again, I just I just feel like these kind of colors are the sort of colors that suit every single person. And uh, you guys probably know that I absolutely love wearing color. My earrings that are meant to be mismatched, by the way, are from... And other stories, I will link them down below. I think they're super cute. And my little scrunchie is from Bershka. I've had it a while. And then I went out with Rabia a few weeks ago. And she was wearing like a a thingy majiggy scrunchie and I was like I need a scrunchie in my life so that's what that is I also want to talk about what's on my nails because this actually wasn't planned but it happened I wanted to show you guys I do actually get my nails professionally done I've been getting a lot of questions on my nails recently and when I last went they didn't have the color that I wear um, in stock which is kind of this sort of shade that I will talk about but in a gel so I went for this like nude color and it's just I just don't like super nude colors on my nails anymore. I used to love them. Um, I love like a pink or like a brighter color. So I've literally just painted over the nude in a really, really like messed up job. If you come super close, which I'm not going to. And um, I thought I would show you the color that I did it with because this is my favorite all time favorite. Like it's probably this and Essie like close together. This is Smith & Colt and this is called B-Side. You can get these on Cold Beauty. They have this gorgeous shade, which is called Fauntleroy. These kind of um, nail polishes I've put in so many of my favorites. This is Pillow Pie, which is one of my favorites. And this is Birdie Num Num. So if you have a few like extra pennies to spend because these are not cheap um, and you want some like absolutely divine nail polishes to add to your collection, Smith & Colt are it. And like seriously, this yellow is just everything. I feel like I very smoothly edged into this kind of like favorite section of the video but I want to talk about some makeup things because I honestly have feel like I've become during the past few years so boring with my makeup. I honestly don't even wear winged liner anymore like I love just mascara wearing like a really good shade in the crease and just being done with it and I honestly don't even know where my winged eyeliner is. That's how much I'm not wearing it which is crazy. I just love a really fresher look where I obviously look like I'm wearing makeup, but it, my eyes are not super done. And, and I like to focus more on skin and things like that. But three things that I've been loving, you guys know, and if you guys have not tried this, please do. I feel like I'm a broken record about this lip gloss, but this is the Fenty Beauty Fussy Lip Gloss. And Fenty Beauty is actually out in boots now, so it's really accessible. And I haven't even seen the counters yet but I really, really want to. It's got such a good wand, and this is what I've got on my lips now. The color is just the perfect, your lips, but a gorgeous pinky, peachy hue. 
it's super comfortable to wear and I just cannot bang on about it enough and that's all I've got on my lips I don't wear anything else with it and in the same kind of color palette family this is the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk luxury palette eyeshadows and you will see exactly what I'm talking about these are my it colors for the moment I particularly love this pinky color here and then I sort of dabble in the other ones but if you are someone who doesn't want to go spend money on an eyeshadow palette you just need to use your blushes guys honestly interchange your makeup have fun with it I love matching my blush to my eyeshadow is that weird but I really do like I love the whole like tonal look and this I have recently rediscovered because I wasn't using it for ages and this is gingerly blush by MAC I feel like MAC just like does the best blushes I just anytime I talk about MAC blushes it brings me back to the lollipop 26 days guys I beg you who remembers Laura lollipop 26 I know she had a blog and everything but she will forever be like one of my OG YouTubers who I just loved to bits. Um, and I know she has Instagram and th things like that now, but I just remember her talking about blushes and she would go in and out liking them, I think. And yeah, I just honestly feel like, I, I think it was Laura Lollipop 26, but I'll just give her a shout out anyway, even if she wasn't the one who introduced me to MAC blushes. Also Tanya Burr, like old school Tanya Burr also. But this is... You guys can probably tell that this is, or maybe you can't, but I do. I have loads of this on my cheeks and I also have it on in the crease of my eyes. And I just, honestly, such a lovely color. Again, this is probably me at my utmost tanned and it looks so good, but it also looks so good when you are slightly more pale. So those are my three most favorite makeup products at the moment, holy grail love. There is one place and one place pretty much only other than like Netta Porter that I will buy and sometimes sunglass hut in the airport that I will buy sunglasses from and I got this tip from Lisa Lisa D1 whom I'm sure you lots of you guys know and she first mentioned this website years ago and I always go to them when I'm buying designer sunglasses because they either have a sale or they just generally have like at least VAT off the sunglasses prices that you would see in store. So um, thank you so much Lisa for giving me that tip all these years. But I saw these and these are some Gucci sunglasses. I have not bought a pair of super expensive sunglasses in a while. I have a few that I kind of, I like went through a phase in about 2016 where I just went crazy with sunglasses. And they were like my little thing that I used to love and I still do but I'm a little bit more like, okay, spending 400 pound on a pair of sunglasses is like, ooh, like I can't really do it. But um, these were, I think, retail like 280, like on Netta Porter and places like that, Sunglass Heart. And on otica.net, I think I got these for like 216 pounds, maybe even less, and they did an extra 15% off. So if you guys want some sunnies, so this is the Gucci, okay, thank you for dropping, case. Um, you need these. They also come with like the little really pretty. Can we just talk about my color palette today? Like all the whole the whole color scheme is just great, right? Um, can you tell I'm really excited to film this video? So I got these. I have been wearing them non-stop. They come in sorry, my phone's going off. They come in a few different colors. They come in black with a black um sort of the, the frame isn't very dark, it's quite light. Um, so they come in black with like a greyish tint, they come in black with a pink tint frame, not frame, the inside lens, that's it. Um, they come in a more sort of pronounced tortoise shell with like a brown lens, they come in this colour with a brown lens, but I wanted this one. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god. So these are, I have no idea what they're called, I have no idea of the style name, I have no idea about any of that, but they're just super huge Gucci sunnies with this um, Diamante Gucci little side thing. I'm not really a, like into Diamante anything to be honest most of the time but there's just something about these like I love the fact that you can see my eyes through it. Me and Rabia, um, Rabia is one of my friends by the way who takes my Instagram photos. We were discussing these and I, she's not fa a fan of the fact that you can see your eyes but I love it because I just feel like it makes them more because they're such a statement, I feel like if they were fully not being able to see through them, they would be a bit much. But I feel like they look really summery and cute and they are just my new favorite thing. So if you're looking for some cool sunnies, then these are definitely it. And also another thing that I've been 
liking a bit more in my sunglasses is not getting the ones that have the like bits that come off on the nose piece because I love putting my sunglasses through my hair and I like just kind of throwing them on so guys these are my new just beyond fave and I feel like they've got a pair on their little collection of these to suit anybody so oh guys honestly best thing I've bought in such a long time is these I also love the case very like Mew Mew had these but in pink didn't they another thing that I have and I have to obviously thank someone for um, been loving is, I think they're called Veya, Veya Trainers. Um, I first saw these on Hannah, Coco, I can never say her handle. She has an amazing Instagram and YouTube and you have to follow her and she's been wearing these for ages. She's the first person I ever saw wearing these. Um, and I was always like, oh, like they're really nice, but I've got my Stan Smiths, like whatever. But the first ones I bought, the only thing I will say with these trainers is they are so bad to break in. So I have another pair and they were probably worse than these. These are not, like I kind of have broken these in, but I love them and I feel like they're worth every single break in pain that I, I did. I wore them all, basically I wore new shoes to Budapest and we were walking around like the whole time we were there, which was probably not a great idea, but I got this version and I feel like there isn't a trainer more made for me than these. Like I've never seen a trainer that screams Barbara more. I love the fact that they've got like the pink. I just think it kind of makes them obviously more girly. And I just love the shade of the pink. And I love this kind of brownie. It's like a brownie pink mauve color. And if you're kind of into trainers, but you're quite girly, which I mean, I probably am girly, but I don't know. I just love pink. <laughs> this again is something that's only happened in the last little few years, but I just loved these. Um, I know Rabia has them in like the, I think Rabia's got them in the red and the green, but I found these on Netta Porter. Um, they probably have the best selection. They have, I think like a full pink pair, but I just felt like that was a bit much, but I fell in love with these. The style is slightly more like a boyish than I normally wear of a trainer, but I would even wear them with like this kind of top and like a really great pair of denim um, just to kind of offset the look. So yeah, if you haven't tried Bayer trainers, warning, like warning, they are gonna hurt your feet like nothing else. But this version is a little bit softer than the Velcro version that I have. I will link both of them below um, and they're a bit more comfortable to wear. So. Yes, for their trainers, and thank you, Hannah, for introducing me because I love them. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are trainers, and I will like wear them and wear them and wear them. Last couple of fashion items, and then I'm going to be moving on to food. If you've got this far, just write in the comments handbags because I'd actually like to know who watches my videos through. Is that weird? Like, I know that a lot of people, like, I know my sister is a skipper, like, she'll skip through, but I know you guys like me if you're watching me through. So, first item that I have been loving, I feel like I'm so like everybody else talking about this but this is something that i was looking for in the uk for ages every time i would go to the louis vuitton store it would be sold out and i'm a very instant gratification kind of person so i feel like i was like whenever i find it in the shop i will buy it if it's not there it's not meant to be found it in budapest it was ever so slightly more expensive with the conversion rate but by like five pounds so i was like We'll get it and now it's kind of got the memory of budapest for me on my trip that i went on uh, for my birthday with my friend so this is the louis vuitton toiletry 26 pouch that everyone and their mum on instagram uses as a clutch so definitely following like the trend here i'm very late to the party but as i said i just couldn't find it for ages it is just I mean, I pro you guys probably know this about me. I'm such a big lover of a pouch. I've got my Gucci pouch that I love. So I feel like I'm really slowly integrating more and more pouches in my collection. And I didn't have anything of this color. Like I'm not a big brown person, but I feel like I've definitely got it more, um, like more into it. It's a really good size. Um, I love wearing it to dinner. I'm, I'm clubbing. I've just got a lonely tissue in my bag. Um, but it's such a good size. You can wear this as, not wear it, use, it's primarily actually meant to be used as a makeup bag or a toiletry pouch. But as I said, everyone and their mum on Instagram uses it as a clutch. It's great because it's kind of entry level price. So if you're looking to buy like a more expensive piece, but you don't want to break the bank, I think these are about 280 odd pounds. And it's just such a classic thing to have in your collection um, and will probably never ever go out of style but something completely different that okay everything has fallen out of it there is something completely different that um i was like okay 
I'm getting really into eBay auctions on bags. I have this like slight obsession, which I'm quite late to, um, with pre-owned or finding newer bags, but that are being sold on eBay for whatever reason. People get them as presents and they go past return dates, etc., etc. And it's become like a slight like you know, at the end of the day, everyone I'm sure knows like bidding can be quite an exciting and thrilling thing. Um, so I've been looking at Mansa Gabriel bags. I know I'm hiding it from you guys for a second because I just want to talk about it first. Um, Mansa Gabriel is probably one of my favorite brands. They do totes, they do the famous um, little bucket bag, and they've just got a really nice leather selection, lots of different colors. And I really wanted a summery pink bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited to show you guys it. There's a certain type that I really wanted with a top handle and a strap, but it's about 500 pounds. And I was like, ooh, a pink bag, and like to spend 500 pounds on it, I will be babying that bag, I won't be wearing it. I wanted a bag that I can wear, like just put crossbody and it be a bit more summery, but it's still a color that I can technically wear in the winter with like a really nice navy coat or something. Like, can you guys see my brain ticking when it was thinking about this bag? So this wasn't actually the style that I was going for, but I am actually really happy that I got it because it's such a casual style for us with such a cute color. So I got this bag for I think about hundred pounds off retail on eBay and I'm so happy with her. She is so cute and yes, she is being called she. So this is the Mansa Gabriel bucket bag in the mini mini size. So this is the smallest size that they do. And it's in the color, I think it's called blush. And it's just the cutest bag. I have to fix the bow situation a little bit, but I have wanted this color of a Mansa Gabriel bag for so long now. And I was like, uh, 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 like 500 pounds. Mm. It's, I think it's about 490 on the website. Um, and I was like, okay, if I buy it for that price, as I said, I think I'm gonna baby it because I've never had such a light well, actually, that's a lie. I have had light shade bags, but I feel like this is the kind of leather that you do have to be quite careful with. And I wanted to see how it wears before I try and get some more. Um, so I was toying with this color in the navy, and I'm so glad that I went with this pink. She is perfect in pristine condition, came with the dust bag, came with everything. I'm guessing the person probably got it as a present, maybe used it once, even though they say new with tags. I probably, I probably can guess that but it's in pristine condition. Definitely check out A Mansa Gabriel as a brand as a whole and check out eBay for resellers because there's a lot of Mansa Gabriel uh, bucket bags on there. They're used, new, depending on like obviously the, the listing. It's just a really, really lovely size summer bag. Now, this is something I don't really talk about often on my channel um, and I'm meaning to do like a whole video on this, but I don't know what you guys think. So I thought this is quite good to, to test the waters. I really want to do like a favorite foods video for like snacking, um, like dairy free alternates and things like that. I have been trying to eat cleaner and better. So I want to show you guys two snacks uh, that I've been absolutely loving. If you guys want a whole dedicated video on this, I can so do that for you guys because there's so many little things and hacks that I've been kind of enjoying. I don't really know if I want to do a whole what I eat in a day video, A, because I'm so like shy about my cooking skills um, and also because I'm eating quite low carb at the moment and I don't really want in the comments like people yapping at me um, but I really wanted to show you guys these like I said snacks the first one is naked bars I'm sure everyone knows about these they are basically I think what they do is they condense the fruit and nuts and they make it kind of you know like all come together um, but they are vegan, there's no added sugar, they're wheat, dairy and gluten free so great for basically every single um, dietary requirement except nuts because I think they do definitely contain nuts so be careful and they do so many different flavours. This is the lemon drizzle flavour and um, this even matches the colour palette today and this honestly if you love like my new thing I feel like that I've grown to love as an adult is uh, lemon flavoured um pastries and cakes and i love lemon like anything sweet whereas you know back in the day when i was little i used to love chocolate but i'm much more of a lemon girl especially in the summer and these just taste so good i think these are 35 grams each and one of them is 133 calories so they you know they're 100 they're more than 100 calories so they're not super super um light for you but they literally just contain dates raisins almonds coconut cashews and lemon um so they honestly are great especially if you're someone like me and at work 
like normally what I'll do is as I'm having like a green tea at work I will just whack one of these out as I'm working and I will eat it um, and I absolutely love them they also do like a caramel flavor which I can never find that's amazing and then something I discovered which I don't know if these have been out for ages and I just didn't know about them but you all need to know about these these are the Alpro de Des I can never say this word Alpro dessert I want to say desert dessert moments um yogurt plant-based um yogurt oh my god i could do a whole video just talking about these yogurts as you can see i have the coconut flavor and the hazelnut chocolate oh my god okay first of all if you're dairy free these are soy based so they are fine to eat i try not to eat a ton of soy but mm, they honestly taste so good that i just can't get enough of them if you like Nutella and you like hazelnut, again, obviously nut, um, nut allergy sufferers, be careful with these type of things. But if you like um, hazelnuts, you will love these. Um, so it says free from colors, naturally low in fat, 30% less sugars, and per 100 grams, these are 80 calories, which I think these are slightly over. Yeah, these are 125 grams, and this is 100 calories per yogurt. And this is 125 grams, 99 calories per yogurt. So again, if you're kind of like me and you're trying to be good and not eat like uh, tons of naughty things, these cut through that like sweetness craving that I get. I also love to take them in for lunch with me um, and have them as like a snack after like, like my lunch. So if I'm having like a salad or whatever, they honestly taste so, so good. I had one this morning, so I try and have like no more than one a day. But that's kind of what they look like. They're at the perfect size, the perfect taste, and you will basically thank me after this video for trying them um, if you're into this kind of thing. So really random video. I feel like we talked about very, very random things, but um, I really love like favorites videos and just like sitting and chatting to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the hair. Uh, crazy, I know, I feel so different <laughs> when I'm looking at myself. Also, I feel like when you change your hair color, you need to change your makeup like your whole outfits feel like they change so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens and whether or not i stick with it but i love you guys all so so much i will see you all in my next video i think i'm going to do a collective haul because i like doing them at the beginning of the month everything i'm wearing and i've talked about will be linked down below and i will see you all very soon take care bye